One of my main purpose in life is to believe in interaction. We are all in interaction with ourselves, with uh, between ourselves, with the universe. But that's too much holistic for the beginning, I think. <laughs> How did I become a holistic dentist? I was not created like that. I was not formatted by, by the university by that. At the contrary, uh, we learned to make holes in teeth and to put materials inside. Something not very good ones. We will see that uh, a bit later. But I had an experience. I was a sportsman of a quite high level, not uh, Olympic, but uh, at the national level, uh, in kung fu fighting. And uh, during one training, I had an injury to my ankle. It was so painful. With I put the extension of that ankle that I run to the doctor, the specialists, and I say, "Doctor, I have this pain, and uh, I want to compete. So do something." No problem. He took a lot of radios, of uh, echographies, a lot of things. No problem. Infiltrations. Okay, put infiltrations. But the result, what? One year after, the pain was still here, and I couldn't compete e efficiently. During a training, uh, I asked the master. Uh, the master uh, told me, "But your position are not correct." It was an old Vietnamese people with a lot of uh, Oriental philosophy, and I'll. To kick about my uncle, he put the uncle on his on his uh, knee, put the finger like that, brace, let's say five minutes, and he can say, "Now try your uncle," and the pain disappeared totally. That was the first break in the wall, I have to say, and I said, "Gosh, what's that? That's a miracle," and I began to have my mind opened slowly. The second event was uh, when I was in the university. The first time I had to put a filling in a tooth, I prepared it at the old-fashioned model. So putting the mercury uh, and the powder in the little pot, mixing it with a quite kind of spoon, and putting the mercury off with a little piece of cloth is so disgusting. And I remembered when I was a, a young child, maybe three, four years old, I was playing with a thermometer, and my mother jumped on me and said, "Don't touch that. That's poison." You can can I imagine that uh, we can have poison in our mouth? So I didn't want to be uh, to have my diploma of dentist as, as a license to kill, and I began to think about a different way to practice my job. And I began to think about what are our mouth made for? It's chewing. See, that's evident. We, uh, oh, everybody, think about that. But it's also talking. Talking. Uh, if your teeth are not in a good condition, you you cannot talk normally. It's breathing. It's really important. If you don't have a good alignment of your teeth, you can have snoring. And if you snore, your heart and your all your body is in big danger. Smiling. Smiling for sure. If you have a beautiful smile, even if it's not beautiful, but coming from the heart, uh, you will have a lot of success. There is an experiment who was made in the USA uh, with a waitress in the bar. The first waitress has the consent not to smile to the clients, and the other one to smile widely. And they count the tips at the end of the day. No match. <laughs> Believe me, yawning. Yawning is. I, I hope that no more of you will will uh, yawning be between my speech, because uh, <laughs> I will be uh, very disappointed. But yawning is the best way nature has found to put oxygen in our brain. So when you you are yawning, you are oxygenating your brain and you are putting energy to think and to go further. Stress management. Uh, when you are submitted to a stress, your parents say, "Be hard, clench your teeth, be strong," because clenching uh, the teeth is the best way to manage with stress because it's in direct relation with the production of hormones, and mainly stress hormones. So we can tell now that dentistry is an integrative dentistry is related to all the other specialties in medicine. I say all the specialities, and the research now uh, is focused on the health of the mouth and notably of the gums, was directly related to heart attack problems and is considered officially by the university in USA by the first trigger uh, cause for heart attack most than tobacco. So, what are the things that can impair our uh, 
performance. And I talk about performance because I joined 20 years before a team of, med of uh, doctors and we were focused on performance optimization for sportsmen of high level. And in this team, I met with a woman uh, whose name is Anne Briand, and we ho she was a competitor in biathlon. Her best performance at this moment was five, fifth in the world, and she cannot go further. And she came to our center to have a total checkup to know what can be better in her performance to help her to be better. Because, you know, in high-level sport, you are at the maximum. The training is tremendous. The diet is very strict. You have to rest correctly. You have to drink correctly. And the smallest detail is really, really, really important because you can see the result immediately. In common people, you have a disbalance. Okay, you can compensate and it will take years before we will have a pain uh, something or somewhere. But in this case, it's immediate. We can have inflammation of the gums that can impair your performance. You know, your gums, the, the surface of your gum is the surface of your palm. And with periodontitis, you have chronic inflammation. Imagine you have a chronic inflammation the size of your palm somewhere in, on, in your body. It's really, really dangerous. Root canal infections that can infuse bacteria and toxins through your body everywhere in your body because it goes to the uh, blood flow. Occlusal disbalance. When your jaws are not in balance, all your body is not in balance. And the consequences for the sports, uh, sportsmen or sportswomen of high level is really, really important. Iatrogenic reconstructions, heavy metals, we will see th this a uh, little bit further, but be conscious that the metal used for your crowns are not allowed for jewels. It's totally forbidden. If I take one of your crown, your metallic crown, uh, and put it like an earring, I'm in a fault and can go to jail for that. But for dentistry, I can take a lot of money and it's okay, everybody is smiling. <laughs> our teeth are in relation with all our body. Not only on a psychological level, not only on an emotional level, but to, to a mechanical level. D directly in relation with all your muscles from the jaws to the feet, and directly in relation with the brain. Direct relation is the nerve who is in charge of our teeth have is the center in the brain just uh, at the beginning of the spine. So the influence is direct on all the sympathetical and, pa and parasympathetical system. That means that breathing, cardiac rhythm, circulation, and so on, are directly related by the condition of our teeth. You see an image of this trigeminal system. When your teeth are not in balance, all your body is not in balance. Try this simple experience at home. You put your, your jaw in front of you as long as you can, and you will see all your body will go like that. Put it in the other sense, all your body will go like that. If you have this little disbalance Every day of your life, you will have pain maybe in the ankle, maybe in the back, or that can impair for sportsmen of high level performances. This little, uh, this lady I told you about, Anne Briand, uh, had not a lot of things. She had three uh, mercury fillings, one crown with metal inside, with uh, nickel, and very, very discreet occlusal disbalance. So, I began to remove the metal, first thing, easier, and after that, I made the little correction of the dental balance. And let's see what how the performance after that. By correcting this disbalance, I can correct all the functions of the organs, pancreas, uh, breathing, digestion, heart, and so on, because the spine is in a, the right way, and the, nerve, the energy can circulate slowly. The stress management uh, of by biting is really important. There is a lot of, con of uh, interactions. I told you I'm really interested in interactions. And this is one kind of interaction, very, very, very interesting, and we cannot think about that. If we cannot clench our teeth, we cannot regulate our hormonal system. We cannot regulate our stress. 
The toxicity of heavy metals is uh, tremendously important in our society. Uh, mercury is one of the most potent uh, poison for the nervous system existing in the world. Nickel is forbidden in jewelry. Nickel is classified by the OMS uh, like the most cancerogenous and most uh, allergenic metal existing. And something we have learned, not in university, but in the first years of our schools, when you put two different metals uh, in a liquid containing acids or salt or something, you have a battery. It's the same in your mouth. The, the blood and the saliva are perfect electrolytes. So when you measure with a special device the electric currents between two different metals in your mouth, you can go up to three 100 millivolts. The limit for declenching a signal in a nerve is 80 millivolts. So you have a permanent stimulation of your nervous system by these microcurrents in your mouth that can have tremendous effect on all the components of your body, heart, brain, uh, breathing, etc. This is normally a video, but I, have, I had not the right, so I couldn't put it. But you can find it really easily by tapping, uh, typing on your computer, YouTube, uh, Calgary University Mercury. It will see the development of a nerve, development of a nerve, the putting of some tiny uh, quantity of mercury and the destruction of the nerves directly. It's amazing, it's amazing and it's uh, a bit, uh, <laughs> it makes a fear sometimes. So when I saw that, I say, okay, Mercury, never. And this is Andréan. We had the gold medal in the Olympic Winter Games of Albertville in 1992. And she had in the mouth a little plastic splint, little plastic device. I give her just for putting his jaw in the right position. So the skying was okay. The problem she had with, with shooting, with the precision in shooting, and uh, on, a, on a course of biathlon with the device, immediately, in maybe uh, two trainings, she had more accuracy with shooting. She missed uh, two shots less than before. And this tiny little difference drove her to the gold medal. And I was very proud of it. I have maybe earned 0.5% of this gold medal. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> <laughs>